All right, what's up everyone? Swamp Drog here. Another uh, episode of The Art of Ram. I've been getting a lot of uh, emails and, and uh, text messages saying, hey, can you do a video on framing? Um, so we're gonna frame a flat bottom real quick here, or at least just give you a, a little um, talking to you about, about framing. Uh, the old framing 101. So we got a nail gun, and we also got a drill up here, so we'll, we'll demonstrate both ways. Uh, to frame up a flat bottom. So, another thing you're gonna need, you need a tape measure and a pencil, all right? So this frame right here, we're gonna go 16 inches on center, all right? So the red, the red marks, that's gonna be 16 inches. Every 16 inches, you got a red mark. So as you can see, we already started down here. At 16 inches, on center is our board, because our board is on center of that mark. All right? This one will set up the same way. You pre-mark it. You can also, uh, a more common number would be the old one foot on center. Or you also can do in between 16, which would be eight inches on center. So you're either framing at eight inch, 12 inch, or 16 inches on center. You pick, really. Uh, and really it depends on how much impact that zone is getting. If it's high impact, 8 inches all day. If it's really low impact like a deck, 16 inches. You get away with it, you save some money in the long run. Alright, let's talk about putting in the board. Alright, nail gun. When this is in, it's good to fire. So don't ever touch that unless it's up against some wood. You don't even have your finger on the trigger unless it's up against some wood. You never know. So, uh, nail gun in there. I always like to start with the bottom one. I'll hold my hand up here, keep my fingers out of the way. And then I will just hold my thumb till that board is flush, which means it's totally level. Alright? That's how I sort of level it. Press in the, the, the guard and Pull the trigger, don't freak out. Rule number one, don't freak out. Pull your hand away. On a two by six, you put three nails in or three screws, all right? So one more real quick. Level it up, put in your guard. Pull your hand away. On the exhale. All right, so let's uh, get into a little drilling here. Different, different way. It's called the slide right here. This is your best friend in ramp building. All right, this will save your fingers and it'll make uh, make time just go a lot quicker. All right, so we're gonna show you how to use the slide and we'll show you how to frame it. First of all, how to use the slide, all right? You wanna insert the head into the tip, all right? Then put your slide down and then just let, lightly hold it. And you never wanna open the drill up all the way like we were talking about in countersinking. I don't know if you saw that video, but. You don't want to open it all the way up, all right? Now you can see the slide will stop spinning, but the drill will still spin, all right? Crucial. Feather. Just nice and slow until it catches. Then you can pull it up. Just keep your pressure on there. That's how you put it in. Reverse. And use the slide too. All right? All right, let's put one in here. slide down. That was a little quick, but the more you, you have more you practice, the better you're going to get at this. So really, when you push it in, put the slide in, you can pull it back. Just make sure it's all in. Pull it, keep your fingers out of the way. And then when you get down to there, pull it. And you can sort of manipulate the wood too as you're, as you're putting it in. You just want nice tight corners, all right? If you got a warp board, um, save that for underneath something or um, just do a better job siding the boards when you pick them up from Home Depot or Menards. So, and we'll get into siding the wood video um, in an upcoming video. So, um, hope that helps and thanks for watching.